Mandelberg. I've been a ham since I was 12. I am WB6, JLA, junky looking amateur. Today we're going to discuss the benefits of VHF radios versus single sideband versus your satellite phone. Each system has their advantages and disadvantages. VHF radios come a long, long way, and I highly recommend every boat have one on board. And the reason is they have a new ACS system which allows uh, VHF radios in conjunction with the GPS, which allows the boat owner to track and see other boats in the area. It's a digital system, it's automatic, your VHF radio is broadcast to your GPS position, and consequently other boaters know where you are. Uh, in fog, it's a tremendous advantage. VHF has a limited range of about 50 to 60 miles. I know at one point uh, I was in the back of Catalina Island and I was able to reach the Coast Guard in San Diego on my VHF radio. So it depends on propagation, but generally they aren't bounced signals, lower frequency signals like, like HF signals. They're generally line of sight. They're great for boat-to-boat -boat communication or communicating with the harbor authorities and harbor patrol and boats in Avalon, for example, who want to assign you to a mooring or other harbors. Great tools for that. Handheld, you can communicate from a dinghy to your family on board the boat. So there, there are tremendous advantages to VHF. On the other hand, if you're going offshore sailing to Hawaii or the Caribbean or across the Atlantic, highly recommend high sea single sideband radio. That kind of communication is good for 500 to 2,000 mile range. It's based on atmospheric skip, the stratosphere, um, and the signals bounce off it and then back to earth and bounce again. So depending how many skips or bounces a signal gets, you literally can go halfway around the world with single sideband radio with only 100 watts. I've been a ham since I was 12 years old and I've communicated all over the world with ham radio. Well, marine ham radio is great for ham nets. If you're in Mexico or the Caribbean, you can log in every day. You can talk to the other boaters, get weather reports, get political information, find out who's got tools or parts for you. It's a great way to communicate with other boaters. You can set up a foam patch and foam patch home. You can also hook up your marine single sideband radio to what's called a PACTAR converter, which sends email via high sea single sideband. It's a store and forward system. So you type up your email, it's stored and then forwarded to another sideband station who then sends it off to your designated receiver. It's a great system. The third system is your satellite phone. And it's come a long way with satellite phone. Uh, the Iridium and some other systems out there are spectacular. You can buy time, you can have a digital link, you can send and receive emails, uh, all kinds of information with sat phone. The disadvantage is it's fairly expensive. A minute costs you a dollar to five dollars depending on your systems. You may have to pre-buy time on your satellite phone. Uh, the disadvantage is that the group can't hear you. It's a point-to-point -point communication, one individual to another. So if you want to broadcast to a group of boaters, you have to use single sideband radio or VHF in close relationship. For an emergency system, I highly recommend getting a minimal satellite system with a minimal amount of minutes. Then an emergency, you basically can call for help. You have to decide how you want to communicate, what kind of communication you want, and uh, go from there. Of course, the fourth way is your cell phone communication. In port and up to 50 miles offshore now, you can have great cell phone communication, and then you can text, you can email, you can log on, you can watch videos. There's all kinds of advantages. So there's a fourth system now, the very highly developed cell phone systems with the online uh, networking systems with the high power amplifiers and cell phone antennas. It's just terrific. So those are the systems. If you have any questions, I'm Randall Berg. I've been a ham since I was 12. I am WB6, JLA, junky looking amateur. And I could probably answer your questions, so don't be afraid to email, text, or call me. Thank you very much. Have a great day.